Hello and welcome to Team Charles Men and Motors Trial Biking Competition. Now it's the last heat for our B-Class riders. And that means that at the end of today's programme we'll know precisely who's going to be featuring in the B-Class final in a couple of weeks time. Now right at the moment, Lee Sampson, 14 years old from Sheffield, he heads the leaderboard. Can any of our three competitors today knock him off the top spot? We've got a good chance, you know, the conditions are perfect. The rules are the same, let's remind you of them. The rules are quite simple and they are as followed. The course is divided into four sections, each of which are scored individually. If you put your foot down once, you get one penalty point. Twice, you get two penalty points. Three times, you get three penalty points. Any more dabs than that and you get the maximum of five penalty points. There are three five second holds throughout the course. Once on the rocks, once on the logs and once on the tyres. Now the horn will sound once for the beginning of the five second hold and twice for the end. And if the rider doesn't complete the five second hold satisfactorily, he'll receive the maximum of five penalty points. If a rider puts both feet down in any section, he'll get the maximum of five penalty points and the winner will be the guy with the least penalty points. However, in the event of a tie, the rider with the quickest time will take the hotspot. Each rider is competing for one of the top three spots on the leaderboard in their class. And guess what? The top three go through to the team trials final. First to compete today for a chance of winning the coveted Men and Motors trophy is Alex Wigg. Alex is 12, he comes from Winslow in Buckinghamshire. He's riding a JST Gas Gas 125, he's got numerous trials biking awards under his belt. You ready? Good luck. So Alex Wig here, hopping the bike round now. Oh, one. And now hanging on to his balance. There goes the hooter. Now he's got to hold for five seconds. He's holding it. He's holding it. He's there. Just one penalty on that. That's good. In fact, that's as good as we've had. Over the rest of these logs. So at the age of 12, he's won the national C class. Championship. Oh, and the dab there. One. He can only afford four faults in all if he's to get into the final. He's got two now in total, but the section isn't over yet until he gets around through these logs. His aim, he says, to be Trials World Champion. Well, he may just make it. You never know. Such a young age and so skilled, such good balance. His riding is a JST Gas Gas. It's a 125cc bike. He's been riding for six years. And actually, for 12, he's quite a big lap. Oh, and one there. Now that's unfortunate. He's now got a balance for five on the top here. He really can't afford any more penalties if he's going to get through to the final. Time will only come into it if penalties are the same at the end. Alex really making his mark in this sport, which is traditionally, I suppose, a more northern sport than southern. He comes from uh, Buckinghamshire. And is doing pretty well there. He's cleaning this last section nicely through. Well done, Alex. Excellent. Well, he cleaned that last section. How many faults in total? Three penalty points altogether. Just the three. Jolly good. Time for a replay. A few penalty points were picked up there by Alex, the second one being particularly unfortunate. Three in all. Alex getting up those tyres at the beginning, you got one dab there, what happened? I was hopping around trying to get straight, um, but unfortunately I lost my balance and had a dab. A little dab. You looking forward to the second run? Yeah, I'll try and call the points back. OK, best of luck for that. Let's have a look at our next rider. Next up, 15-year-old Matthew Jones from Scunthorpe. He's been riding for seven years now and today competes on a GP Beta 200. He notes one of his best achievements as coming eighth in the European Championship. OK, ready? Matthew Jones from Scunthorpe, riding his Beta 200. He's been riding for seven years. And this is where it's difficult. A bit of body strength to hop the bike round 
Oops, one foot down. Now he's in an awkward spot. Now, can he get it up there? Now he's got to hop it round. He can't balance there. He's got to get that front wheel up. No penalty for hopping it backwards. He's still only got... Oh, and another penalty. Now he's got to balance that and hold it. it looked good as he started, but in the end it was just a little bit shaky. Anyway, he's managed to balance there, so he might get out of this section okay. Took a little bit of time. Most of the youngsters, uh, his hero, the man he looks up to in this sport, Dougie Lampkin, the world outdoor trials champion. And he's getting into position there for his balance, perfectly balanced on the sump, and that back wheel's just about in the perfect spot. He should get off there quite easily. With the forward momentum, the toes mustn't touch, and they haven't. That's excellent, it's clean. His other interests, cyclo trials, golf, tennis, and football. But now his concentration totally on the bike. So he doesn't ride his bike every day, but uh, every weekend he's competing. And this is good. That's a very neat, clean run. Quite a good record, you know, Matthew. Runner up in the British National C Class Championships. And also did well in the Europeans. I think he was eighth. And he's balancing this well at the moment. He's got two penalties in total. And this looks as though it's a clean section. Just got to be careful. And manages it well. So into the final section. If he can clean this, he'll be leading in this particular heat. Just two faults. And managing the snake of tyres pretty well. And coming through the finish very well indeed. Hey, have we got a competition on here? That was close. That was very good. He only got two penalty points in the rock section. So at the moment he's in the lead. Let's have a look at the highlights. After a shaky start, picking up two penalty points on the rocks, Matthew cleared the rest of the course with ease. Pretty hassle-free? Yeah, it went quite smooth. Everything went, up, went to plan, really. So now you're used to us all watching you. How do you think the second one's going to go? Should be easier with that as well, but I think the car should be easier backwards as well. Okay, well, we'll look forward to watching you on your second run. Let's have a look at our final rider. The last rider today competing for the coveted Men and Motors trophy and other prizes is 13-year-old Sam Haslam from Buckinghamshire. Sam has been riding for eight years and today competes on a Gas Gas 200 Pro. Okay, start the bike. Good luck. <laughs> Sam Haslam, he's 13, comes from Buckinghamshire. His bike, the Gas Gas 200. He knows what he's got to beat. And he's one of the top four in B class. In 2000, and he's cleaning. This is terrific. We haven't had this particular obstacle cleaned since we started, and he's done it. That's the first rider to go clear on those rocks. Excellent. Great control. Sam was C-Class champion in the year 2000. That's the year before Alex, who we saw earlier. And he's just got to keep his toes off there. This is such an awkward position to be in. They have to balance on the sump for this full five seconds. Now momentum to get him forward. He's done it. This is good. Clean again. Well, this is the closest heat that we've had in any of the classes, either A or B. All three riders doing exceptionally well. And let's hope you can keep it together. That's another clean section. His time is uh, virtually identical to that uh, of Alex Wig, who we saw go first in this heat. But no faults yet. Can he stay clean? Just a bit of balance. Oh, and he's hit that perfectly. This is a terrific ride. Oh, hold it. He does hold it. And through. And so the last section. Now this, as a rule, has not caused many problems. 
They can drop a wheel though and easily get into difficult. Oh, and he has! Oh, I can't believe it! I think it was two there. Well, we need to uh, just check on that, but I think that that was two faults on that last section, which has given no one any problems before. That's such a shame, because up until at that point, he was clear for the whole run, which is unheard of in team trials so far. Absolutely. Well, we must check on that. We'll have a look in slow motion. A great run by Sam. The judges have confirmed that just one penalty point was picked up from the last stretch of tyres. You've only got one penalty point at the end there. What happened? Because that was quite unusual. Yeah, my front brake just slipped and I lost my balance, so I had to take the one penalty point. Well done, though, because it was a great ride. And we ha so far, you're the first person to have cleared the rocks first off. Did you find that hard? Yeah, it was hard keeping my balance and uh, I just got it right. Well, best of luck for the second run, because I'm sure you're going to be fantastic. That's all we've got time for in part one, but join us in part two when our riders will be completing their second run. See you then. Hello and welcome back to Team Charles Part 2, where our riders are about to complete their second run. But before they do, let's have a quick look at that leaderboard and see what they're aiming for. So after the first run, Sam has stormed into the lead, picking up only one penalty point, and it's going to be a tough one to beat. Well, we've got quite a remarkable situation with Lee Sampson guaranteed to go through to the final, but any two of our three riders in this heat could join him there. Alex, did you expect it to be so tight? Um, not really, but myself, Matt and Sam are uh, the, about the same ability of riders. OK, well, it's all on this. If you go clear, you could well be in the final. Over to the starter. OK, yeah. good luck. So Alex Wig sets off. If he does go clear, he could go into second place on the overall leaderboard. So he's got to be accurate. His time's good. He seems to have plenty of time in hand. And it looks as though he's going clear on the first section. Richard Elwood is the man he's got to beat to get onto the leaderboard. Nicely balanced at the top there. He's having to wait for a second time. The second hooter meant uh, your time starts again because he rolled forward. There he is. So he lost a bit of time there, but he has plenty in hand. And he's clean. Accuracy is the important thing. Alex's uncle was uh, a brilliant speedway rider, Simon Wig. His dad also, really. He's clean so far. Good balance, good spot. Now, minding the toes, he mustn't touch down. He's still only got three faults. In practice, Alex has cleaned this section. Now, if he can clean it now, his time is terrific. Can he get there? Bearing in mind what he's got to do to get onto the top of the leader. Well, he can't get to the top, but he can get second or third, and he's clean so far. This is fantastic. He has three faults in total. His time is excellent. He'll go into second place. Well done, Alex. Well done. Absolutely excellent. Well, by my reckoning, just confirm with me, he was clear. Very good ride. It was absolutely fantastic. He had a clear ride that time, so he only got three penalty points on his first run. That's right. So that puts him, as I say, second on the overall leaderboard. Let's have a look at the perfect run. A fantastic second run by Alex, clearing all the obstacles with style. A great ride. You obviously found that a bit easier. Yeah, I think it was easier in the reverse, reverse direction, but um, I got used to the cameras as well, so I wasn't quite so nervous. Ah, it makes quite a lot of difference, doesn't it? Now let's talk about this bike that you've lent Sam then. What happened there? Um, well, we were doing a two-day event at, in Scarborough and he was leading, but his gearbox uh, failed, so he lost all the gears and I had to lend him a bike. And he's doing quite well today on your bike, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing very well, but he got used to it yesterday at Sheffield. Right, so it's made quite a lot of difference. Well, if nothing changes, then currently you're in second place. Yeah, I'm very happy about that because I was... Uh, last going into the second run. Well, we're going to see how Matthew and Sam do a little bit later, but first of all, let's check out that leaderboard. Alex completes his second run in a good time, 1 minute 27 seconds, and managed to escape any penalties. His overall time is therefore 3 minutes 20 seconds with just three penalty points. Well, I guess that the good news for Matthew here on the starting line is that uh, Michael Brown is eliminated. 
Yeah, that's good. That's always good news. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are your tactics for this? Are you going to go for speed or are you going for accuracy? Accuracy, yeah. Well, the very best of luck. Over to you, Jane. OK, start your bike. OK, mate, good luck. Off you go. Well, the situation here is that if uh, Matthew goes clear and he has a good time, he could be second or third on the leaderboard at the end of this. He's got two penalties against him, so he's got one in hand over the two riders in second and third place. As we said, uh, pretty accurate, just two penalties. And that's good balance at the top, so so far his accuracy attempt is paying off. The hooter didn't work, he's being waved off. But he's clean. The equation here really is quite simple. If Matthew goes clean, he will end up with just two faults and will take second place. And go ahead of Alex. That's not as far forward as he would have liked it. Oh, the hooter's working again, that's good. And now he's got to get off there. It's taking him a bit of time, but accuracy is what he's after, and he achieves it. His friends at Fox Hill School, up in the Scunthorpe area there, going to be rooting for him here. Can he go clean? If he can, second place on the leaderboard beckons, and a place almost guaranteed, in fact, definitely guaranteed, in the final and he's clean this is a terrific run and he's made that wonderfully at the end to complete a perfect run he was clean all the way through yes he certainly was and didn't he look controlled fantastic ride well, he said he was going for accuracy he was very accurate that puts him in second place on the leaderboard and he only got two points on the first run so he's done really well brilliant run Let's have a look back. Another great second run, this time all cleaned by Matthew. What a competition this is turning out to be. You've now knocked Alex off the second slot, so he's in third and you're in second, which looks like we're definitely going to see you in the final. Are you happy? Yeah, that's good, because he's been beating me a bit this year and I've got <laughs> in front of him, so... Bit of friendly rivalry and you've yeah. done it at last. So what are you going to do in, in order to prepare for the final? I think I'll just practice a lot and concentrate. OK, well, we're going to see you then. Let's have another look at that leaderboard. Matthew completes his second run with a time of 1 minute 42 seconds and no penalties. His overall time then is 4 minutes and 5 seconds with two penalty points. Well, Sam, you've got time in hand. Lee Sampson's time with one fault was 4 minutes 31. So you've got time in hand. Do you think you can do it? Yeah, I'll try my best to do it. You're going to end up on the top of the leaderboard, eh? Yeah. Very best of luck. Let's see if you can do it. OK. Good luck. Off you go. So Sam Haslam, he's got it all to do here, but uh, he has everything in hand. Just the one penalty, as we saw, it was just the one on the snaking tyres first time. So he's going clear on the way back already. Oh, and the foot down. Just the one so far. Was that nerves? Well, he certainly can't lead the competition. But he's still on course for perhaps second place or third place. Can he hold this together? He's got to keep it accurate. He doesn't need to worry about the speed. He still only has two faults. So second or third position beckons, depending on his time. Compulsory five second wait there. Must seem like an age to these lads on the top. That's good, it's clean. He's much quicker than Matthew, so he could go into second place, provided he doesn't make a mistake on this section. The stone's notoriously the hardest section got to go clean here to take second place but the time is good he's held his balance only just he's away 
and he's through. He must have done it. His time's good enough. I think that's going to put him in second place. I'll just confirm with you, Jane. Just the one? Just the one. I thought he was going to get another one there on the rock, but just the one. I thought he was going to fall off the whole thing there, which is really quite frightening. We'll take another look. Sam picks up just one penalty point. Not a bad run, though, was it? Well, Sam here's got the fastest time for today, 3.16 and two penalty points. Two penalty points, one from each run and both on the tyres. What was going on there? Yeah, I had a bit of bad luck with the tyres today. On the second run, it threw me off to the right, so I had to lose another penalty point. But you found the rest of the course pretty OK, didn't you, in both ways as well? Yeah, they were quite good sections today. Well, the good news is that you're in second place behind Lee Sampson. Unfortunate for poor old Alex there, who's been knocked off. Matthew's in third. Are you pleased with today? Yeah, it hasn't been bad. I could have gone a little bit better, but that's OK. Do you think you're going to get your own bike ready now for, in time for the final? Yes, yeah, uh, being fixed this week, so I'll have to see if it's ready for Thursday. OK, thanks very much, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the final. Let's have a look and see how our B-class leaderboard ended up. Sam had another good run there, time of 1 minute 30 seconds, just one penalty point. His overall time then stands at 3 minutes 16 with two penalties. Good stuff. Well, we've had another great day and such close competition. I mean, two of the riders in the final. Yeah, it's a great pity we couldn't get all three through. They were terrific. But Lee Sampson sent them a really good target. Well, we've enjoyed it. We hope that you have too and that you'll join us the next time we meet 14 trials. So until then, from Jane and me, goodbye. goodbye.